So all that was was a correction weld. Now it probably won't stick into that pipe at all. <laughs> This one goes through like that. Almost, you know. Okay, Hank, I was right. It did pull in down here, and there's a ridge right where the weld is. Can you see that? Just, it's like a sixteenth of an inch over the 12 inch auger. But I've been, I've been uh, luckily I've got old school tools that they used back in our day, and I'm and I'm just taking that ridge out of there. I'm not afraid to do this. Right? I mean, it was broken when I got it, right? It's almost like some weld got cre crept in there. You know, it might have. drill bit that's two feet long. <laughs> what else we got here? Ooh. I'm gonna measure that with a measuring tool. I'm going to measure the cross diameter of that. 0.98. Let's go over to our pipe. Our pipe is 0.99. You know what I'm going to do? Hey, hey, hey! Big old crescent wrench, where are you? Let's use one that's made across the ocean. This is going to do some abrasion. Because it could also just be a, a what do you call it, a piece of slag from the well. well we're almost all the way through, dudes. Right there, we're getting the jam. I am curious. Are you? Well, I think for a rookie amateur, that's pretty good. I can pull that off pretty good. Better than most, eh? Let's put this back up on blocks. See, taking an overnight break can sometimes help. Not bad. That was a lot of work, my friends. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Got a bolt in there! Look at that. Are you impressed or what, Hank? So, yes, it's not tricky. Now we have one small repair to make on this other one here. And this one, I just folded it over with the hammer. It was starting Pardon me. It was starting to tear right there all the way back. Now I just folded it back. Now I'm going to make sure that we can fit the, uh, fit the file in all the way through. Good. And I'm just going to tack that while I got the welding stuff out. But it's not a big weld. It's only a quarter of an inch long. That's going to work. Good. Oh, that's real nice, eh? Because that tab, whoops, that tab was ripped right from the tip there all the way back. Okay, while well, the paint dries on those, 
we're going to cut this pulley. Uh, pulley arbor? <laughs> what I've done is I've made a groove all the way around at the edge of the tape as close as I can. And now I'm really hogging on it in there, right about in there. So we're going to just hog on it on a different spot. I'll, I'll set you up so you have an idea what I'm doing. Although it's hard because stuff gets in the way. I do have these blankets up so I can shake these uh, shavings off later. So if you can see that, we'll give you a little uh, visual demo of what I'm doing here. Not that I'm not using up that much of this disc, so although this is a really good quality disc. It's going pretty darn good, actually. Got about a quarter inch groove out of the three eighths now. How much further do we have to go? Oh, we're almost there. Where's the thickest place? Right on the arc, right on the keyway, of course. <laughs> What do you think of that? Let's just make sure you guys are watching. There. What do you guys think of that? Alright, here we are. There's two grub screws on there. That's really good. Now, let's see if it fits on there. I don't know if there's a front or a back to this bad boy. Whoop. I wonder if it's still too hot. Pretty darn good fit, eh? We'll just cool it off a little bit with some of this. Well, that's interesting. It is hot. Oh, yeah. I didn't know how hot it was until I touched it with my bare hand. Okay, it's already cooler. I bet you it fits through there now. Yep. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm going to weld this onto here. Alright, here's another major breakthrough. We've got the uh, arbor on the pulley or whatever fitted with the keyway. And it's got two locks, one there and one there. That was major. That didn't happen by itself. Now, I don't like shaving keyways, but that's what they're there for, right? So not only is that an eighth of an inch, we took off a sixteenth more with the blade, right? It was actually pretty, pretty shallow, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, that's a pretty good quality, pretty good quality, uh, Cutter. Thanks. Cool, eh? Hey, I know. Like in the old Western movies, you you put a piece of tape over it, and you threw it into the air, and it came back with the tape broken. But you snapped it just before you threw it up. Ah! I believe that was in Support Your Local Sheriff, if I'm not mistaken. All well, fun. Okay. Right got the tabletop grounded because we've got a good ground from underneath here 
on the sh on the uh, arbor, whatever you want to call that. So I'm going to do two welds across this way, and I'm going to turn it over and do two on the other side. Wish me luck. Okay, let's do a couple zaps on the old uh, scratch board here. Well, I think I better put better gloves on. I hope it didn't lift. It did a little. Okay, so we're going to have to turn that up. It's not sticking to the, 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 not sticking to the pulley. So this is really hard. This pulley is really, really hard. Okay, I'm going to turn up the heat a bit on this bad boy. It's hard to do on this machine. I don't want to blow it out though, eh? I'm going to do a hard tack on that. Turn it around. Try the other side. Make sure we don't have a gap. Nope. Look at the size of that tack! Did she stick? Yes. Ooh, it came close to the key. <laughs> The extra temperature really helps. So, that weld is there, so I'm going to go right here. Should be. Okay. So I'm kind of proud of it because this was so much harder than that. I, br I, I got my arc started and then brought it up. And you can see each time I brought it up, right? Oh, that's hot. And again over here. And then two good digs on the other side. That surprised me. Hi, guys. Yes, the furnace is going, but that's life right now. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get this thing inserted into the housing properly. Now the, the worm gear goes to the top of the gearbox. When this is spinning, these little guys, these little cups right here, oops, these little cups right here, throw the snow up, uh, uh, up the chute, which is here. So that spins down in there and throws the snow up. You with me? And now I'm I'm speaking kind of directly because I'm kind of talking to myself. So as this turns, right, you see this thing, this shaft rolls forward. And as this shaft rolls forward, yeah, you have to make sure that that guy is on the right side and that guy is on the right side. Correct side, not right side. So as this rolls forward now, if there was a piece of snow, let's get a piece of snow. Here, here's a piece of snow. So as this rolls forward now, you will see 
that that piece of snow is, is augered to the middle. We'll do that again. So our snow is there. It's rotating so that our snow ends up in here, rotates up. I know this is crazy, but this is the most important part. If you get this wrong, you get it all wrong. So now I've got all my different kinds of grease out here. I think I'm just going to give this a little squirt to see if I like this even better. I think this is red ram. Excuse me. So this is red ram. And that's nice grease too. And I have lots of it. Let's yeah, just put that on there. Are you guys with me? Are you with me? Yes, you are. So, we're going to pull this up. We're going to schmoo this. And no, it's not too much. You should have seen how this thing came apart. I'm not even going to muck with this. I'm just going to turn it inside out and throw it away. So this, you see how long this is? I just took a, a grease hose and doubled the length of it. I just con disconnected the, the grease fitting off the end, off here, and put this in. And then when I'm laying on the floor greasing my truck, I can leave this laying on the floor and I can reach all the zerts, or the grease nipples, accordingly. Now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to lift this up. Good. And take this glove off. Hey, hey, hey! I'm going to put this on and we can remove the wood. Right? here. Put this one on. You have to have make sure that this ring goes on the outside, right? I thought that was going to be icky poo poo more than that. Now we're going to insert our bolts if we can find them. These are our uh, shoe bolts. They should be about there. Oh, there we go. Good. And the other one. I want to go the other way. But it's not perfectly lined up. Wunderbar! Yeah, I got one left. So now I'm just going to get my uh, zapper. 7 16 uh, wrench. And we just tighten them, but not crazy. Oh. Does it go... Oh, it's, I like these when they go half and half. Half inch on one side, 7 16 on the other. Good. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, is that the half inch? Yep. Good. Now I wonder if we'll still have a little bit of slack in that. No. Nope. Neither one. But that's all right. We're going to go to the uh, grease fitting and pump some in, see if we can get grease to squirt out. Oh, it's already coming out. Do -do 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 Come at it from the other side here again. It's 
Something has me bothered a little bit. This one has a bit more slack. There it is. So what's bothering me is, although there's nothing we can do about it, this side is a little got a bit bigger gap than that side. Look at that, eh? Here's our repair. That had the gouge right across there, right? Sorry, I'm wandering around with the camera. So now I'm just going to check the grease inside there. Square 3 8 head. This is the 8 point socket, not the 6 point socket. Oh, it's been gaunt. You may have to use a... Uh, no, it's a different. It's, oh, it's just been mangled. There it goes. Okay, that's where you get the old uh, adjustable spanner comes in. I'm going to probably take that to the grinder until that does fit on there. So do you think there's oil or do you think there's grease inside there? There's grease. And there's enough of it too. I'm not going to change it. It's one of those things, right? Old grease is better than no grease. Okay, thrust washer. Thrust washer. Okay, these go on this way. All right, don't know where I'm at. So I'm going to marry this now, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to wreck my finger, but I want to get that in too. There's the keyway in the shaft, and there's the keyway on the bearing. It's an actual bearing in there, hey? So if I can tap that bearing over, maybe, maybe, baby, you'll be true. Maybe, baby. The great Bruce Pender. Wow, chicka, wow, wow.
Now that's it for now. Until we. Uh... No, this is about it. Let's get that pulley on there, but not tighten it up. This is how I was meant to put it together, but I guess we have two choices, eh? <coughs> I wanted to put this on so that this goes on there. Then I'm going to go take a measurement. I'm going to just tighten that up a little tiny bit. But I'm going to use Loctite on this when I'm done. And the other one is a quarter of a turn away. Right there. Good. I love it. Now, the only other thing is to, whoa, watch your step. The only other thing is to attach said brackets with a half inch attaching machine. That was really good. I'm going to have to wipe all my tools off when this is over. Lining this stuff up is not easy because it's heavy. I know. There we go. I don't want to force anything. Loosen this other one. Let's do the other two before we get cocky. Rotate that a little bit. Segway. And put it back. Just tighten up the other side. And I might just touch it with a ratchet. Auger assembly. It's about ooh, 18 foot pounds. Good. Now, you guys get to witness the first rotation of this auger since the augers were repaired. This is, okay, let's see what we got. Thank you guys, I'm there.